Hi everyone, this is George Cook of African American Reports. Uh, well, today I want to talk about um, Trump's recent comments when it comes to police brutality. He was recently speaking to a group of uh, police officers. He made a comment about, you know, when you arrest somebody, you know, banging your head up inside the car when you're putting them in the car or whatever, and some want to say it's a joke. Um, my thing is, even if it was a joke, it's irresponsible of a president to um, even talk about police brutality and what it is is divisive. I mean, you had a a white president speaking in front of a group of white officers who laughed, who seemed to think that um it was okay, and they probably didn't, but the optics of it were horrible. Now, thankfully, many police chiefs from L.A. to Boston, Suffolk County, and New York came out, said they would not condone that type of behavior, and that is against policy in their police departments. But the optics of uh, President Trump saying that and a group of white officers um, laughing can really set back the strides that police chiefs across the nation, police forces across the nation have tried to make when it comes to dealing with uh, black communities, Latino communities. So this, this statement was not helpful. And again, under our Constitution, you have rights. When you're arrested, you are a suspect. I don't care if the officer saw you do it, you are a suspect. You have rights and you to be treated as a suspect. You were treated with yeah, your civil rights and human rights are not to be ignored because you may have done something until you're found guilty. And even then, in this country, no one has the right to beat you or abuse you. And so some think it's a joke, some think it think it's funny. As president of the United States, you have to watch what you say. Words have power.